All right, we're checking out Ping iOS. This is 18.04 Alpha 1, I guess. So uh, let's have a look at it. I just wanted to download and check it out because I remember Ping Guy said he was going to throw in the towel, and then I guess he'd come back with an 18.04 build. So let's have a look at it. Of course, it is a GNOME, and I got it running here live on VirtualBox. So it's got the docky right here. I notice it has another little plank over here. I'm not sure what that one is. And I'm having a little bit of problems with it. Uh, so it might lock up. I don't know. So we'll see. So this way it booted up. Of course, it is a GNOME. And there's your sound. You get your wired connections and all that. So there's your clock and calendar. It uses the variety wallpaper selector. You can get to wallpapers there. And I notice it only showing two, but sometimes it'll show other wallpapers. So I don't know. There's got a little search thing. And it uses the Mint Updater. So there that is. And then it's got this menu over here. So let's just go through. It's got a decent amount of software on it. There's Docky, Files, Image Viewers, Calculator. There's Variety, Wallpaper Selector, and everything. Graphics, Image Viewers, Simple Scan. But not, you know, too much software. It just has one browser, for Firefox, of course. Uh, no LibreOffice. It just has a little document viewer programming, you know, sound and video, just VLC, system tools, bleach bits, got boot repair. There's the Debbie package installer. It's got Gparted. There is the Ping Guy installer. And let's see um, what else has got in here. Onboard screen. Uh, what's it called? Uh, keyboard. And there's the Ping Guy builder. That's a pretty neat little builder. We'll have a look at that. Snap Package Manager, System Profile and Benchmark. Of course, the GNOME Tweak, the Ubuntu Cleaner and everything. So there is the Ping Guy Builder. This is a pretty neat little builder. It's just like uh, the Cubic Builder, but it gives you a couple little bit more options like uh, boot picture, plymouth theme, and things like that. You can do backups and everything. So there's all the settings for that. And pretty neat. Uh, it, you know, it's pretty easy to to use once you figure it out not hard at all so that comes included and uh, let's see what else we got uh, archive manager disk utility I didn't see the system monitor or anything so that's what it came with now the menu uh, I was having little problems with things locking up on me and I clicked a button up here and the whole menu just disappeared so maybe I'll show you that at the end of the video so um, you know it's got a decent amount of software not bad right click on the desktop you get to these settings and documents here and a couple scripts there and there's change icons and all that so down here you've got the docky which gets you to the gnome tweak and firefox vlc and the snap package manager and so let's see uh kind of themes it has on it a couple themes gray bird numix and a couple cursors there so not too much stuff and then it's got all the extensions it's got that menu and a couple other ones turned on there startup applications there that is so uh just having a couple problems with it. i don't know if that's just because it's running here live on virtualbox or what the you know what's going on but i, I just noticed clicking on things it, it'll just lock up and it will finally come out of you know being locked up but so uh, what I did on the menu here, I was just looking through things and I thought, okay, well, that looks pretty neat. And I clicked up here and everything disappeared. So I was like, okay, well, okay, well, how do I get it back? <laughs> so I was sitting here and I was clicking on things. I was like, how do I get my menu back? All my categories. So I, I couldn't figure that out. And then I started clicking on things and the whole thing just locked up on me. So I don't know what happened there. So other than that, uh, you know, it's... Uh, Ubuntu base and I think let's see if I click restart shell let's see if that'll uh, get the menu back uh, maybe that'll rebuild it there uh, because I don't know what I've clicked on all those buttons I could not get the categories back on the menu okay there they are so I don't know what that's about so other than that you know it's got a decent amount of software everything you need browser get online VLC got the bleach bit and everything it seems like it has more system tools but i didn't see like a system monitor the gnome system monitor or anything in there there's the system uh synapse package manager system settings you know ubuntu cleaner it's got all that good stuff on it and of course the ping guy builder which is a plus there's the installer and everything so uh other than that not a bad build you know it's gnome so there it is you know and it's ping guy so seeing my docky now kind of 
locked up there. So other than that, uh, it just has a little bit of problems here running on VirtualBox. Uh, dockies are locking up on me. Uh, let's see, variety of wallpaper selector, you can get to that. And now that's not working. And now you see the whole thing locked up on me again. So uh, just having too many little problems here trying to look at it on VirtualBox. Um, I didn't want to go ahead and install it. I figured, you know, I don't think that's going to matter. So I just wanted to download and check it out. And this is only an alpha. I'm sure it's going to be better once it uh, finally comes out. So there's a variety. Finally, see, it just has a little hang up. It comes around and then uh, it'll come out of its. Uh, there it is. Now it's working. So I don't know. Uh, but uh, there is the Mint Updater. So it uses that. And uh, it's not a bad uh, build. It's GNOME. It's Ubuntu base. And it's got a good uh, amount of software already installed. Doesn't look bad. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. I just wanted to check out Pingai OS. And this was the Pingai OS 18.04 Alpha. All right, I'll wrap it up here. I'm out.